Thanks for checking out this video. So, what do we have coming to Shutter for December? Now, they've done a great job at the end of the year, and I was thinking that maybe they, maybe they would end up petering out in December. I thought maybe they were going to end up petering out in November because obviously October is the big one. But uh, no, actually, I'm, I think I'm even more excited for December than I was for November. Uh, for me personally, and some of you will know why, you'll see why, but. I'm at a point where actually I need to just stop saying I'm going to watch this, I'm going to watch this, I'm going to watch this when I go through this video because I end up not getting to a lot because there's just so much I want to watch on Shutter and in other places, but I feel like I'm really going to need to buckle down in December. So here we go. Let's talk about what's coming. The big thing that everyone really wants to know, Joe Bob Briggs and The Last Drive-In is coming back for another holiday special in December. It's going to be called Joe Bob Saves Christmas, and it's December 11th at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, the Christmas spirit takes over. The last drive-in is Joe Bob and Darcy close out the year with a double feature of holiday horrors. Premieres live on the Shutter TV feed. Okay, so here's the thing. Also available in Canada, by the way, not just the U.S. So here's the thing. I have a theory on what they're going to do for this. When it says double feature of holiday horrors i have a feeling he's finally going to do halloween 3 because i felt like they they with the um the halloween one that they did they led you so much to think that it was halloween 3 and then didn't do it so i think what's going to happen is that joe bob is going to say look fine my gift to you for christmas is doing halloween 3 just the theory you know don't kill me if if uh if it doesn't happen but I just the theory. You heard it here. Uh, creep show, another creep show holiday special like they did in October. Uh, this one is December eighteenth. Uh, in the holiday themed hour long episode, Shapeshifters Anonymous, fearing uh, fearing he is a murderer, an anxious man searches for answers for his unique condition from an unusual support group. Sounds interesting. And the special is written and directed by Creep Show showrunner. Greg Nicotero, based on a short story by J.A. Conrath. Also available Canada, uh, UK, and Australia, New Zealand. So cool. Uh, oh, and so people don't know, giving you my spiel, I will have no spoiler movie reviews up the Monday of each week for whatever Shutter Original or Exclusive hits that Thursday. I always do that, so if you want to know ahead of, ahead of those things hitting Shutter, I will have those on my channel. Uh, and that counts for the Creep Show holiday special. I will have a no spoilers review out before. Uh, another shutter. Uh, I think this is an original. Anything for Jackson coming December third. After losing their only grandson in a car accident, grief stricken Audrey and Henry, a doctor, a doctor, kidnap his pregnant patient with the intentions of performing a reverse exorcism. Interesting. Putting Jackson Jackson inside her unborn child. It doesn't take long to figure out Jackson isn't the only ghost the grandparents invited into their home. Now it's a race against time for the couple, as well as the pregnant woman, to figure a way out of the haunting they've set upon themselves. Alright, so that one, obviously, I'm definitely doing, because it's one of their Shudder originals, so I'll have a review up for that. Uh, one that I've been interested in seeing, so I will, have, I, I will be getting a screener for this one, The Pale Door. Now, this is coming out December 17th, and it's a Shutter exclusive. The Dalton gang find shelter in a seemingly uninhabited ghost town after a train robbery goes south. Seeking help for their wounded leader, they are surprised to stumble upon a welcoming brothel in the town square. But the beautiful women who greet them are actually a coven of witches with very sinister plans for the unsuspecting outlaws, and the battle between good and evil is just beginning. That sounds like a really cool concept. Plus, how many films, well, horror films, are like a Wild West? Not a lot. Off the top of my head, I can think of what? The Burrowers? Mainly just that. Uh, also in Canada, UK, and Australia, New Zealand. There's a new series coming. Now, I'm very surprised by this one. So, they're doing Eli Ross History of Horror Season 2. Uh, if you didn't see Season 1, I think it's probably still on Shutter. It's very, very good. Each episode, they kind of break down one aspect of horror. It, it'll be like vampires or zombies or, you know, satanic um, cults or possessions, you know, things like that. So um, they have been releasing podcasts to go along with the first season. Now, 
they just started releasing more for a season two of the podcast, so I assumed it was just going to be the podcast doing interviews, but no, there's an actual TV series season two, so that is awesome, and that's coming December 10th. All episodes will be up on December 10th, apparently. Um, yeah, so uh, award-winning director, writer, and producer Eli Roth brings together the masters of horror for a chilling exploration of how horror has evolved and its impact on society. Season 2 episodes explore Houses of Hell, Monsters, Body Horror, Witches, Chilling Children, and Nine Nightmares. Season 2 of the companion podcast, History of Horror Uncut, currently debuting new episodes on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and other podcast platforms. Also available December 10th. They've already been releasing them. Uh, featuring interviews from Stephen King, Quentin Tarantino, Jordan Peele, Ari Aster, Bill Hader, Megan Fox, and Greg Nicotero. Just so people know. Very cool. Also available in Canada. Uh, all right. There are going to be two collections. I'm not going to tell you what the films are for them because they'll show up later in my list. Uh, Unhappy Holidays is a collection that's going up, and that'll be there on November 30th. And then December 2nd, Holy Jolly Christmas, which people may be able to figure out that's what I'm so excited about for December. Okay, so here we go. Coming in December, the other stuff. November 30th, new Unhappy Holidays collection, including Blood Beat. A, woman, uh, a young woman travels to rural Wisconsin to meet her boyfriend's family, and a samurai warrior spirit possesses her body to go on a bloody killing spree. Okay, interesting. Sounds very interesting. Uh, that is coming to Canada as well. Body, a darkly funny and twisted journey taking place entirely on one unforgettable Christmas Eve. Body revolves around a trio of college co-eds whose dalliance with breaking and entering goes horribly awry. Following a freak accident, the girls find themselves entangled in a Hitchcockian nightmare steeped in tension, suspicion, double-crossing, and murder where no one is to be trusted, and a new twist lies around every corner. From the team behind last year's Villains. I wasn't a big fan of Villains, to be honest. I actually have a review coming out for Villains pretty soon. But uh, this does sound interesting. I might have to check that out. Also available in the UK and Canada. Rare Export. Now, this is a film I've been meaning to get to for years now and just haven't done it. I know it's currently available on Hulu at the moment. It's been on there for quite some time. Uh, in this darkly comic gem, it's Christmas Eve in northern Finland, and an archaeological dig has just unearthed Santa Claus. But this Santa isn't one you want coming to town. When local children begin disappearing, Pitari and his father capture the mythological being and attempt to sell Santa to the corporation sponsoring the dig. I've heard it's really good. Also available in Canada. Shaitan, or Shaitan? Shaitan, I'm going to say that. On Christmas Eve, a group of guys meet two gorgeous girls who invite them to spend the weekend in the country, where they meet Joseph, a creepy, unkempt man whose pregnant wife is hidden in the house. That evening, their innocent Christmas dinner turns into disturbing conversations about sex, satanic possession, and incest. Yeah, that's bad conversation. Joseph's behavior becomes increasingly erratic, and the young friends realize all hell is about to break loose. Interesting. Also available in Canada. December 1st, Bram Stoker's Dracula. This was on Shudder and then left a few months ago, so it's coming back. From Francis Ford Coppola comes the remake of the classic and chilling tale about the devastatingly seductive Transylvanian pr prince who travels from Eastern Europe to 19th century London in the search of human love. I still haven't seen that film. I need to. Gary Oldman, I love him. I know he's probably great. The Lost Boys. Joel Schumacher, Lost Boys. Uh, also coming December 1st. When a single mother and her two sons move to the sleepy seaside California town of Santa Clara, they discover much more than they anticipated in this visually stunning blend of hip horror or hip humor, horror, and rock and roll about the most compelling group of contemporary vampires ever to put fang to vein. Classic. All right, so here's what I was very excited about. The Giallo collection that they're having, which they're calling... Uh, Holy Jolly Christmas, December 2nd. I'm going to have to hit this hard because it's a lot of films. They don't have descriptions for all the films. They just name what they are. A Blade in the Dark, also available in Canada. Black Belly of the Tarantula, also in Canada. The Case of the Bloody Iris, also in Canada. The Corruption of Chris Miller, also in Canada, UK, and Australia and New Zealand. Death Laid an Egg, also in Canada. 
the editor, only in the U.S., the Fifth Chord, also in Canada, New York Ripper, also in Canada, The Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave, also in Canada and the U.K., The Red Queen Kills Seven Times, also in Canada, Short Night of Glass Dolls, also in Canada, Stage Fright, also in Canada, Torso, also in Canada, Trauma, also in Canada, UK, Australia, and New Zealand, Your Vice is a Locked Room, also in Canada, and What Have You Done to Solange, also in Canada and UK. That is a lot of Giallo films, and I'm very excited because I've been trying to see as many Giallo films as I have with within the past year or so. Uh, I haven't gotten as far as I want to because I get sidetracked with other stuff, so I know I'm not going to get through all of those, but I'm going to try and hit that as hard as possible. There are some titles on there specifically that I've known about that I've been meaning to get to, so I will do that. Um, Castle Freak, coming December 3rd. Uh, this one's had already been on there. Actually, I think it's still on there currently. Well, anyway. After inheriting a castle from her long-lost mother, a recently blinded girl learns that her family harbored dark secrets with deadly implications. Okay. Oh, this is a different castle freak. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Oh, may maybe this is the remake of Castle Freak. I guess so. Because it doesn't say... It says it was acquired prior to May 2020. Shudder is no longer working with the producer Sin Estate on any further titles. Okay, so it, this is the new... The remake Castle Freak. Okay. December 7th, Let the Corpses Tan. A hypnotically stylish fever dream thriller from the team behind A Mare and the Strange Color of Your Body's Tears. During a beautiful Mediterranean summer, Rhino and his gang steal a cache of gold... They believe they've found the perfect hideout until surprise guests and two cops compromise their plan. Okay, sounds like it could be good. Also available in Canada. Oh, Castle Freak also available in Canada, just so people know. Here's one I've been wanting to get to. VFW by Joe Bagos. That is also coming on the third, uh, 7th, I'm sorry. A typical night for a group of war veterans at the local VFW turns into an all-out battle for survival when a teenage girl runs into the bar with a bag of stolen drugs. Pretty, pretty easy to, yep, simple. Also available in Canada. Coming also on the 7th, Zombie Child. Acclaimed French filmmaker Bertrand Bonello brings the zombie film back to its Haitian roots. Interesting. In 1962, a man is brought back from the dead to work on a sugarcane plantation. Many years later, a teen tells her friends uh, her friends her family secret, not suspect suspecting that it will push one of them to commit the irre irreparable. Uh, Canada as well. Then December 14th, a good woman is hard to find. A recently widowed young mother will go to great lengths to protect her child as she seeks the truth behind her husband's murder it's pretty vague also available in canada let us pray i've seen this film it's been a long time but i've seen this film remember enjoying it a man brought to a police station possesses everyone's darkest secrets as the cops try to figure out who or what he is they soon realize deadly retribution awaits anyone who stands in his way this violent chiller is definitely not for the evilly easily disturbed also available in canada uh, December 22nd, Lose, the Flower of Evil. El Senor, the leader of a small cult in the mountains, returns one day to his village with a child who is purported to be the new messiah. But when only pain and destruction befall the community, El Senor finds himself under attack from his own followers, including his three daughters, whose burgeoning femininity has already caused them to question their faith. Equally mis mystical and terrifying, Lose the Flower of Evil is a fantasy folk horror film where tranquility belies a simmering evil. Also available in Canada, UK, Australia, and New Zealand. Cool. And the last film, also coming on the 21st, The Soul Collector. In an attempt to start a new life with his young, fragmented family, bankrupt William Zeal returns to the farm he inherited from his estranged father. Lazarus, the farmhand who took care of William's father in his lonely final hours, reappears soon after William, Sarah, and adopted daughter Mary arrive. A supposed chance meeting between Mary and Lazarus develops into a bond between two kindred spirits. But Lazarus carries a dark secret, a demon child with an insatiable appetite for human souls. 
and now the zeal's and now the zeal's newfound domesticity is placed at unfathomable at unfathomable risk also available in shutter oh or in shutter oh my god also available in canada sorry about that Anyway, so obviously what I am most excited about is that Giallo collection. Oh my gosh. I wish there weren't other films coming that I want to watch like The Pale Door and VFW. And it'd be fun to rewatch The Lost Boys, uh, which I should probably just buy that anyway though. So I'll pass on that. But I definitely want to see VFW. I mean, obviously I'm excited about Joe Bob. I'm excited about the Creep Show animated uh, special. So let me know what you're excited about. Put them down here. I especially want to know, are there any other really big Giallo fans out there? I really love Giallo as a subgenre. I think it's really cool. So let me know. And if you are a big fan of Giallo, let me know some of your top recommendations for Giallo films. I may or may not have seen them, but there's so many out there I have not seen that I'm sure people will bring up some ones that I either haven't even heard of or knew about, but just haven't gotten to yet. But Hopefully you're excited for December. I'm very excited now. I Like I said, I was, I was expecting them to peter out, but lo and behold, they are not. So awesome, awesome, awesome. Thanks for checking this out. Do me a quick favor, though. Hit that subscribe button. That is your best way to repay me if you like any video I have ever done because I don't make money doing this. I'm just throwing the horror love out there for the love of horror, basically, and hoping it reaches people. So let me know you're watching by subscribing. I really am 100% grateful for that. I always get an email when a new person subscribes. I make sure I look at who it is. And I think to myself, thank you to that person. That is wonderful. Also hit the notification bell. That way you know when I'm putting up a new review video or one of these types of videos or doing a live stream or any of that cool stuff. But regardless, I appreciate you taking your time to watch this. And until next time, keep it brutal.